the next one is the Galaxy S4 event and the S4 itself. Um, I watched the live stream because I can't afford to go to New York and I wasn't invited. Um, the event was so weird. So, 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 so weird. Um, it was alright for like half hour. In the first half hour they just showed the phone and said, look, look what it is. And they actually, they, for the straight, they actually showed specs. Like, this is LTE Cat 3 with 100 meg megabits down and blah, 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 blah. And now I, I actually quite like that. But after then, it got really weird. That's when they, they put on like a Broadway production. And do you remember those like really annoying kid they put in the, um, the teaser commercials? Jeremy. Oh my god, this kid came back and played like everyone's kid. Why is that? I've got a really itchy eye. This kid Jeremy came back and was like, yeah, dad, I'm, I'm going to do some tap dancing. And then he was like, yeah, okay. And it was like, oh, but Mr. Will, I don't want to be your kid. Everyone else was cool. And it's like, man, if I was your dad, I would have slapped you a long time ago. But um, what else? The event could have been like half the length. If they, if they just stopped it after they said all the specs and said, look, it's going to cost this much and it's going to come out this time. Boom. Half hour event. Everyone I know would have been happy. Like, this weird broad sh Broadway? This weird Broadway sexist show was just so crazy. And there's like explanations as to why it came across as sexist. Is, is essentially, um, well, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna link to, uh, hope, or if I remember to anyway, I'm gonna link to the, the Verge. Neela Patel did an interview with the directors of it. And essentially they said, like, we had to send a new script to Korea every day. And this is, and it's just like, every pair of socks had to be, like, green-lighted. And I was just like, well, that's crazy. Uh, next. Uh, also, this one. Why hasn't Samsung figured out integrated LTE yet? They're, like, one of the, they're, they're a great SoC manufacturer. Every Exynos chip I has ever, I, I has ever, I have ever played with has been much faster than its Snapdragon counterpart. Yep, I said it. My Nexus 4 has a Qualcomm, a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro APQ8064 crate CPU, and my girlfriend has a Galaxy S4, Galaxy S4, a Galaxy S3 i9300, which is the European variant, uh, and that's got quad core A9s. Almost a wash. Personally. So. Uh, but yeah, they haven't figured out um, integrated LTE yet. So it's still like LTE markets like the States. And actually, they figured out the UK is only getting the Snapdragon one because we're starting to build out our LTE market now. But that means we're only getting the quad core Snapdragon 600. And there's nothing wrong with the Snapdragon 600. I think, I, I, I think actually what it is, it's just a, a higher clocked uh, S4 Pro. And they're just new branding, but I might be... If there is actually a quantifiable difference between the S4 Pro and the, Snix, the Snapdragon 600, put them in the comments below, and then hopefully I can... Uh, I can thank you for it. So, um, so yes, yeah, places that need LTE, like the States and apparently the UK, we're only getting the quad-core one, but everywhere else is getting the octa-core Exynos 5, which is... Uh, now, it's, it is technically a core, uh, an octa-core processor. There are eight physical cores on... Now, see, I'm going to I'm gonna have to start doing my great drawings again now, guys. You guys are, you guys are going to love this. Um, basically, there are eight physical cores, yeah? Great. I'm, gra I'm glad we agree on that. But how it's implemented is why people are only calling it a quad-core. Now, if I show this to the camera, the big square is, we'll call those A15s. Those are the Cortex A15s. Those are the Exynos 5, yeah? Like the ones in the Nexus 10 and the uh, Samsung Chromebook. That's, there's four of them. But the small ones, those are Cortex A7s, and those are power-saving cores. Now, this is... Um, Sorry, I just got a Twitter notification. 
Uh, now, this is what ARM called the big little architecture. Now, it's... Sorry, the thing's gone to my head. You have four power saving cores, and you have four super high powered cores. And most of the time, you'll be using the 4A7s, because they are speedy as hell. And there are four of them, and they're incredibly lightweight on the power. But if you need to play stupidly heavy games, or anything like that, you've got the... You've got the four A15s, which are ridiculously good. Now, because there's uh, four A15s and four A7s, they can't work in conduct conjunction. Conjunction. I can't speak today. I'm going to take some more tea. Because they're different architectures, they can't work in conjunction together. So you you can only ever use the four A7s or the four A15s. You can't use one A7 and three A15s or the other way around or whatever. Now, because of that, people are only uh, saying it's a quad core, but no, there are eight physical cores. It is an it's an octa core process, even if it can't use all eight cores at the same time. There are eight actual cores. Well, now that's over. Um, yeah, why not the if you're gonna go for the super high end, we're the best. Why not go for the Snapdragon 800? Now that has a quantifiable improvement over the S4 Pro. So I, I don't know. It's giving me a headache trying to think about it. There was no major touch with overhaul either. Uh, instead of having water ripples in the lock screen, it's like if you tap, it's like a glowing light, like a light emanating from beneath your finger. Uh, what else? I actually don't mind. It's designed. People are saying, oh, it's only an S3S. No, it's not an S3S. It is an S4. There's a post on my website, which I'm going to put a link to here. Uh, basically, just saying, uh, there's actually two little graphs, not graphs, uh, tables I built. And I put the specs of the S3 and the S4. And then the next one I said, if it looked like this, I'd be pissed. And I essentially just changed the camera and the CPU, which is what Apple did between the 4 and the 4S. They kept the exterior exactly the same. They kept the battery exactly the same. The screen exactly the same. Nope, Samsung changed the screen. They made it bigger and more high resolution. The camera, bigger and higher resolution. Uh, CPU, bigger, high resolution. Battery, bigger. Uh, the actual thinness, it's thinner, it's lighter. So, like I said, I don't mind its design, but I didn't mind the S3 design either. Uh, I want to say well done to Samsung for actually getting uh, Android 4.2.2 at launch. Like, at launch. This is crazy. For In retrospect, the HTC One only has 4.1.2. What else? Yeah, well done for getting 4.2.2 at launch. But uh, I hope they actually keep it up and get, like, Keyline Pi or the next version of Android on there as, as quick as possible. Uh, cool camera shot. Uh, cool camera shot. Cool camera stuff. It has stuff like dual shot. There you go. I said it in the right order that time. Uh, basically, it's like you take a photo. Take a photo with the back camera. But you can uh, use the front camera at the same time. Really using those the power of it here. Uh, you can use a front camera and start interlay yourself over it. He said, like, um, if ever you looked at my old family photos, you'd think it was like, a, a, or my old family movies, you'd think it was like a, a single mother raising a child, whereas, the fa in fact, it was just dad behind the camera the entire time. Which I, I kind of understand, but who wants to have themselves floating in a heart or a postage stamp in just randomly in the photo? It's just weird. Uh, they do some weird camera stuff as well. It's like, you can take a photo... But it attaches like uh, three or four seconds of audio with it. So again, if I took a photo uh, of my younger brother at his, I don't know. Say I went to my cousin's graduation and I took a photo of him accepting his uh, diploma, whatever. And... Uh, someone was saying something, I could record the audio, so whenever I looked at the photo, the audio played in the background automatically. Do you know what? There's a version of that. It's called video. Um, what else? Uh, 30 megapixel back camera, 2 megapixel front facing camera. We'll see how they stack up. They might just be larger sensors, but they might actually be actual improvements. So, hopefully there is. Alright, that is the Galaxy S4 stuff. 